Why particularly to Windhoek? Europe, Africa, Caribbean Pacific countries in the 21st century are living in a very difficult period of time, which is marked by very immediate events like migration, like decline of the prices of <coughs> commodities, like terrorism. So all kind of change of global security, all kind of changes in global trade because of the commodity prices are very deeply affecting our daily lives. Why the Namibia in all this exactly? Because Namibia has something very fantastic <coughs> to show to the rest of the world. And this is peacefulness and stability. Uh, we have many conferences in Addis Abeba with African Union, in La Valletta about migration, where people meet in a very stressful situation. So the Windhoek was chosen as a kind of a safe and secure retreat to offer the venue for a little bit more strategic thinking. So what we do expect is a strategic thinking. And why strategic? All these relations amongst African, Caribbean, Pacific and European countries are organized by a very huge agreement which is called Cotonou. This agreement will expire in 2020. And we need strategic thinking. What to do next? How shall Europe, Africans, Caribbean and Pacific people organize their trade, their democratic relations, their diplomatic relations, their environmental relations in the future? And this strategic debate will happen in Windhoek. Well, I think it's for Namibia, it's not only an honor, but Namibia should be pride. <laughs> Namibians are a proud nation and it's really a pride to have such an honorable gathering here. And I think that this is something what Europeans as well need to see is that we really are becoming global, all of us. That means we are real partner. We are not only partner in the strategic thinking, but we are sharing together a lot of human disasters and we have to be human and we have with <coughs> humanity to treat each other, to partner each other with human understanding and this will create us on both sides to be proud of our achievements.